let's go through the dimensions for iPhone 14 wallpapers and backgrounds and how to export them in Photoshop. Let's start with iPhone 14, the first of the four versions. For iPhone 14, you're going to want a width of 1170 pixels and a height of 2532 pixels. Your resolution should be set for up to 460 ppi. This is going to depend on the quality of your photographs you're using or the imagery. But for the best results, aim to get as close as 460 ppi as possible. Next, if you're working with a 14 plus, set a width of 1284 pixels and a height of 2778 pixels. Again, your resolution should be set up to 460 ppi depending on the quality of the photography and imagery you're using. If you're working with a 14 Pro, you'll want to set a width of 1176 pixels and a height of 2556 pixels. The Pro is slightly larger than the 14. And as per the previous two, set your resolution for up to 460 ppi. And lastly, the largest of the four versions, the 14 Pro Max. So when working with the 14 Pro Max, set a width of 1290 pixels and a height of 2796 pixels. This is slightly bigger than the 14 Plus. And as per before, up to 460 ppi for the best quality and definition of the background or wallpaper. So to set this up in Photoshop, very simply, file, new document, so let's say we're designing for the Pro Max, we'll set a width of 1290, a height of 2796, make sure our orientation is portrait. Again, depending on the quality of imagery you're working with, or if you want to hit the maximum resolution, set this as high as 460. We can leave our color mode RGB because we're working with the screen. And once you're happy with this, you can simply click Create. When it's time to export, simply come to File, Export, Export As. Personally, I would set the format as JPEG. We can leave the image size as it is. If you want to add your metadata, any copyright or contact info you have in your imagery, you can select that here. And if you want to preserve the colors as closely as possible to the originals you've used, you can set embed your color profile. And from there, you can simply click export and export your iPhone background as a JPEG. So there you go. It's that simple. Those are the dimensions for wallpapers and backgrounds in the four versions of the iPhone 40. Really hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Keep on designing. And I will see you for the next tutorial.